Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the difference between Versace Jeans Couture versus Versace and Versace because there's a few different collections and lines so I know it can get confusing so I'm going to share everything with you as well as a few of my own pieces, do a little try on haul for you, share the fit, the quality, what the aesthetic of the brand is as well as some vintage versus Versace. So Versace Jeans Couture is the collection I turn to after Versace's main collection for more bold, colourful, kind of really logo forward statement pieces that are a lot more affordable than Versace's main collection. So I tend to buy Versace shoes and bags and then clothing wise I tend to go to Versace Jeans Couture just because it's so much more affordable and I get less wear out of my clothes than I do my shoes and my bags. The aesthetic of Versace Jeans Couture and Versace are very different. Yes they're both kind of very feminine and glam and fun but Versace tends to have a lot more classic styles. They tend to be a little bit more elegant and sophisticated. I know they're still a very fun youthful brand but compared to Versace Jeans Couture, Versace Jeans Couture is very bright, it's very bold, it's very logo for a lot of golds, blacks, purples, bright pinks, a lot of cutouts and sexier styles. Now I personally love how bold and print heavy Versace Jeans Couture is, especially for fun summer pieces, but they're definitely not for everyone. If you like more stealth wealth, quiet luxury, you're probably going to hate Versace Jeans Couture. You're going to prefer Versace's main collection. If you like that more Y2K 90s vibe, I think you'll really enjoy Versace Jeans Couture. Wow. You haven't been around for a while, have you? No, you wanted some time to say hi. So what's the difference between Versace and Versace's Jeans Couture and versus Versace? So Versace came first in the 1970s and then Versus in 1989 and then they became integrated in 2018 as Versace Jeans Couture. So Versus Versace is no longer around, it did get integrated. So this, you can tell how old it is because it is Versus Versace. Versace Jeans Couture is very much a part of Versace. It's just targeting a different audience. It's more mainstream because of that more affordable price point. So when it comes to which is better, Versace Jeans Couture or Versace, let's take a look. So I got this versus Versace dress years ago, obviously because it got integrated in 2018 to Versace Jeans Couture. I absolutely love it. I, what I like doing, if I'm buying more expensive styles, because versus was I feel like more expensive than Versace Jeans Couture, I like buying classic styles that I know I'm going to wear year after year that aren't going to really date. I mean, the safety pins reminded me of the Liz Hurley iconic Versace dress. That's been around for what, since the 90s? So I feel like it's one of those styles you instantly recognizable as Versace. It looks more like the main collection. Same as the bustier style. I feel like that's such a signature of Versace. I really like that. I don't need a bra with it because it has that bustier into it. It's just a really beautifully well-made dress. It's super sexy it's really thick material so I feel like versus Versace might have been slightly better quality than Versace jeans couture so if you want to hunt down some vintage pieces maybe on something like the real real definitely recommend scoping them out because they're beautifully made one pro shopping tip I have whether you're shopping for Versace or Versace jeans couture is to look for pieces with the gold safety pins in I've had so much use out of mine because I'll take them off and use them on other pieces of clothing because you can buy these separately so that way you don't have to buy it separately and you can kind of like really elevate any outfit just by adding this to it. My second shopping tip is to buy whole outfits. Don't just buy pieces because they sit in the wardrobe. You have no idea what you're going to wear them with. So either buy the whole outfit or think about what you already have that you're going to style it with. So I got this dress knowing I already had this Versace bag, knowing it would go together, outfit done. So this is a Versace jeans couture dress. I got it a couple of years ago. I'm going to link it below. It is selling out fast because it is a couple of seasons old and it's on sale. It's so affordable right now. I got it firstly because I knew it would tie in. Second, I just thought this print was so Versace, so fun and bright for the summer. It's light, it's breezy, it has adjustable straps, it has a side zipper so you can dress it yourself and it has so many colors going on. Literally you can wear it with white, gold, red, blue, green, pink, literally any color shoe will go with this because it's in the print. So I find Versace Jeans Couture runs true to size unless the description says something different. I've always had really good luck with their sizing. This dress, they do quite a few different ones every season. It's kind of like similar material, similar cut. 
I love it because it doesn't need ironing. So it's a great piece for packing. You just roll it up, shove it in your suitcase, go and get it out the other end. If you're wondering why my makeup looks a bit different today, I, I do change my makeup between winter and summer makeup. Winter, I like to do more of a full face beat. Summer, and I was shooting a self tanner this morning. I like to be a lot more natural, a lot more glowy. So I'm going to link this below because it's a super goop glow screen. I've covered a couple of times. I love that I don't need foundation with it. It just gives that really, really nice. It does kind of even out the skin tone. It gives that really good glow. If you're a bit shiny or oily, though, it might be too glowy for you. I personally love a good glow. And then obviously I did my brows. I did my bronzer. I did my highlighter. I did a little bit of waterline, pencil, mascara, eyeshadow primer, and a lip gloss good to go. I just really, really like that for the summer. I like to look fresh and dewy. Okay, back to the Versace Jeans Couture try-on haul. Okay, on to Versace. So I do find the sizing in Versace does vary a bit more than Versace Jeans Couture. So the swimsuit is a one and the shorts are a two. Now I did try the two in the swimsuit for a little bit more boob coverage, but then it was too long in the body, too baggy in the bum. So I'd rather have a bit more boob and not a baggy bum as my look. And then the shorts, I feel like, yes, I could have done a one, but for summer, I really just like loose comfortable and easy and they are a comfortable short now the reason i got the swimsuit it was on mega sale and i have to say versace swimsuits are one of the best quality i found they're very thick they're very well made this doesn't fall down even with one shoulder so i really love that about it it tends to be a lot sexier they do other colors in their swimsuits but i liked the black and gold i think it's a bit classier a bit more elegant a bit more easy to mix and match so i actually wear this as kind of like a summer outfit poolside i haven't got to worry about coordinating a whole nother outfit to go on it so the Versace shorts are actually swim shorts, but I feel like the material, because it's got a slight shine to it, is actually a little bit dressy. So I've also worn these with a bodysuit. I've worn it with a bodysuit and blazer. I like pieces that I can get multiple use out of, especially if I'm traveling. The less I can pack, the better. So if I can use them as a pool cover-up, if I can use them for walking around the city or out in the day, I will do that because honestly, streamline packing so I have more room for duty-free shopping. Price-wise, always scope out sales. Versace has the best sales. If you can wait for it to be the end of the season, if you don't mind getting last seasons, go for it because they do the best deals. Both of these were sale finds and now these are back in again this year full price. So that was definitely a win. I'm, I think I'm on to the second or third year of both of these. And again, the elasticity in this is held up really well. So you are paying for them, but I feel like you're paying for the quality, not just the name. Okay, so now we're on to the athleisure wear and I have a Versace crop top and Versace jeans couture leggings, but very similar material. So I did get them to be a matching set because I found them both on sale. Honestly, I'm the best sale hunter even if I do say so myself if you're looking for a good sale find make sure you subscribe to my newsletter because I always share the best sale finds and discount codes in there or keep watching my YouTube channel so let's start with the sports bra it's Versace one of the reasons I like the sports bra it wasn't quite as loud a logo as the leggings although I still love that but I really just like the really kind of dainty La Greca print that goes all the way around there the thing with this is I can't actually wear it as a sports bra, but although it's elasticated, it just doesn't give support. And I'll kind of show you why. Oops, I've got deodorant on me. It gapes at the bottom, so it kind of fits in here, but then it gapes, so it's just not giving the support it needs. And then that's not the cutest look. So I feel like it almost needs taking in there. But if I'd gone any smaller, then it wouldn't have fitted in the actual bust part of it. So just not the best fit for me. Also, the material is very thin. So again, that's why I feel like I'm not getting the support. So maybe if I was doing a Pilates or a low impact relaxing yoga, it would be good, but I'm definitely not doing a high impact cardio workout in this. Then with the leggings. So the leggings, I have to say, I love the high-waisted look. I'm not a big fan of having much belly out. So this is kind of a really good high-waisted, but it's almost too long in the crotch. I mean, I can pull it up to there to not have a baggy bum, and then that's way too high. And then if I pull it down, then I'm going to have a saggy bum, which is not flattering either. So the fit on these just wasn't great. And I feel like I couldn't have gone any smaller because then I feel like they're going to be like cutting me off in the waist. And I actually think these are the smallest they make. Material wise, I do like the shine on them. I do like the stretch. If you are tall you're, and have a longer torso, you're probably going to love these. Because look how long they are in the legs for me. I mean, they're probably... 
a good four inches long. So what I do, honestly, I don't even know if I've ever worked out in these. I tend to just tuck them under. I think the reason being I haven't worn them to work out is because the sports bra, I wouldn't wear as a sports bra. So this was kind of a miss for me all over. But I think if you're tall and have a long torso, the leggings are great. They're really, really good quality. The other thing I realized is with buying a logo waistband, you never really see it unless you're wearing it like this. And I don't go out like this. I like to have my midriff covered up. So I'll either have my sweat wrap on or I'll have a tank top on. So then you're missing the whole logo part, which is kind of the reason I bought it. I know that sounds bad. Oh, to see the logos. But I don't want to cover it up. So I don't know if I buy logo leggings again just for that reason. Sports bra, I might try some more from them. Maybe I'll try some Versace jeans couture ones and see how they compare. So if you've tried more Versace sports bras or Versace jeans couture sports bras and had a good experience with them, drop it in the comments below and let me know what style so I can scope that out because I desperately need some new ones. So I haven't bought any Versace jeans couture shoes, handbags, accessories to be able to review those for you. They're just a little bit too logo, even for me, and kind of too rock chick. I tend to shop from Versace's main collection for their shoes and handbags. Absolutely love them. I have a lot of them. I just really like the quality. I like the kind of bold glam styles but instead of having the words on them it's more about that medusa head or some really fun gold hardware so when it comes to which is better versace jeans couture or versace versace is obviously their more luxurious designer collection the quality is better because the price point is higher their styles tend to be a little they're still fun and feminine very very fashion forward but a bit more grown up, a little bit more sophisticated, still fun, feminine and fresh. Whereas Versace Jeans Couture is a lot more affordable, so the quality isn't quite as good. It's still good quality, it's just not that luxury designer quality. It's a lot sexier, it's a lot bolder, a lot more logo, a print and a hardware forward. So if you're wondering if Versace Jeans Couture is good quality and it's worth it, the answer is definitely yes, it's just not going to be as good quality as their main collection. I'm going to link everything I wore today in the Versace jeans, Couture Versace try on haul below. Can't link the Versus dress because obviously that is years old. Everything else or similar alternatives to the new season I'm going to link below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.